All right, so let's talk about Furiosa, which will actually be premiering at Cannes Film Festival next month on May 15. Pretty much a month from now, we'll be seeing that film get its first reactions and whatever it may be, right? We won't be there, sadly, but we will be talking about those first reactions and all of that. We already made a video talking about the other films we're excited for at Cannes. So if you want to go check that out, go check it out on the channel. Really would appreciate it. And also, we are running a giveaway. If you want to enter that giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Comment below your thoughts on Furiosa if you're excited or not. Let's get into Furiosa and Mad Max Saga and the CinemaCon footage that was shown. So I myself, I don't need to see anything else. I don't need to be teased about anything. I'm sad. I'm watching this movie as soon as I get the chance to watch it, whether it's at the premiere whether it's at a screening or whether it's on opening day we will be there we will be set on taylor joy george miller chris hensworth mad max so let's get into this footage however because it still got me excited once i read about it and i can only imagine watching this at CinemaCon with all of the power all of the excitement that was in the air so the extended sneak peek began with a single car cutting across the wasteland as a narrator threatens if you find him he's mine Enemies kidnap a young Furiosa from her mother who chase after her while holding a rifle in an eerily similar fashion to Charlize Theron in Fury Road. A voice echoes, protect the green place, the mythic oasis that plays a key role in Fury Road, which we eventually see glimpses of in this footage. From there, the villain Dementis, played by Chris Hemsworth, demands to find the green place. Furiosa's mother bursts onto the scene to save her, but the titular heroine must watch her helplessly as Dementis essentially crucifies her mom. Promise me you'll find your way home, Furiosa's mother says desperately. Plant the seed, protect the green place. We then see Furiosa locked up in a similar manner to Max played by Tom Hardy in the opening of Fury Road as Immortan Joe, played by Lashi, whom negotiates with Dementis to take her for himself to prevent a war. Several scenes of Furiosa training alongside war boys as she grows up follow. Later, Furiosa meets Peritonia Jack, played by Tom Burke, with whom she appears to have a romantic connection. Jack seeks to help Furiosa in her quest to find the green place and return home. Toward the end of the footage, Furiosa cuts off her hair saying, My mother, my childhood, I want them back. At the end of the footage, a character, presumably Dementis, says, This is the history of the wasteland, whispered to me by Furiosa herself. The question is, do you have it in you to make it epic? Someone refers to the titular heron as the darkest of angels and the footage concludes. So George Miller apparently explained to the audience that Furiosa initially materialized as he was building the world and lore of Fury Road. He says, in order to tell the story of Fury Road, we had to know everything that happened. That story was told in three days. This story is told in 10 to 13 years. We wrote the backstories for everybody, for Furiosa, for all those years, and then also for Mad Max in the years before. When Fury Road had enough traction, we thought, oh, we gotta do Furiosa, and here we are. Okay, so that's pretty much the footage that was shown there. This came from Entertainment Weekly. I'll leave it down below if you want to read more about what they had to say but we are definitely excited for this film like i'm telling you there is so much going on in that trailer i know a lot of people didn't really vibe with the trailer i'm not entirely sure why but i vibe with it so hard and i'm ready to see this film on the biggest screen possible like it's just been a great year for IMAX movies from Dune to Civil War. And now we're going to get uh, Planet Kingdom of the Apes pretty soon. And also we are going to be getting this film Furiosa, which just looks incredible. And like I said, this will actually be premiering at Cannes in about a month's time by the time you're watching this video. So super excited about that. And cannot wait to talk more about the reactions and reviews and all of that once they start coming in. This footage has me excited. I'm very curious as well with George Miller talking about that they wrote other stories for Mad Max characters, especially during the time of the Mad Max Fury Road film, that means there's a ton of these other stories just lurking somewhere for George Miller. And I do hope George is able to bring as many of them to life as they can. And you know, this is gonna definitely be a great start to a possibly big saga epic that the Mad Max movies can be. Like I've said before, I'm an enjoyer of the first Mad Max. The ones that followed, I'm not entirely sure where I still stand with them. I got to give them a rewatch, but I enjoyed Fury Road so much. I just remember the first time going to see Fury Road, not knowing what I was about to get into at the AMC. And that AMC action, I watched it long gone now, but it was still one of the best experiences, honestly, in the theater. Everybody in that theater erupting. It was just amazing. And I'm hoping that we get to see that with Furiosa as well. 
people that aren't very like in keen with Fury Road or know what Fury Road is or Mad Max, just going to see this on a whim. Maybe they just saw that it was playing and they're curious or Anya Taylor Joy made them come out to watch it. You know, whatever the case may be and they see it and they're just like mind blown. You know, that's exactly the reaction I'm hoping from everyone. But let me know your thoughts and opinions on the footage description. Does this make you more excited? What do you think about it? We'll be breaking more of it down as well as some of the comments that Anya Taylor had with Chris Hensworth. That video will come out probably next week where we'll talk more about the things we know about the film as it comes out and also some more CinemaCon footage uh, we'll be talking about as well that has released from the other companies. But I just wanna make a whole dedicated video to the Furiosa footage because I am excited beyond words for it. it is one of those films that has been at the top of my list since it got announced and we heard about it and the fact that it want to premiere the film at Cannes means that they are 100% on board with this one and I'm all there for it but let me know what you think about the Furiosa footage and also what do you think that we're going to be seeing from this one do we see another film spin off from here or do you think that we could see another character from Fury Road spin off I really would think Nicholas Holt's character would be an interesting one as well to explore later down the road but who knows we'll see what George Miller wants to do maybe we'll get some more info about this when Can comes around so let me know what you think about it but anyways like I'm said we are running our own giveaway so if you want to enter that giveaway all you have to do is two things be subscribed to the channel and comment below your thoughts on Furiosa once you're subscribed also make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when we drop the giveaway winner announcement we'll have two giveaway winners and you don't want to miss out on that because it will be a movie prize package but as always that's going to do it for me I'll see all of you next time follow us on our social medias we're trying to grow our Instagram so definitely follow us over there at its culture elixir I'll leave it all at, right here at the end card as you can see and as always that's gonna do it for us. Furiosa, yes, no, let us know in the comments. But as always, stay safe, stay positive.